so last time you all fought in Eton, mm -hmm. uh, who, who had caught you in his mouse trap and, and you were able to defeat it. And now you've made it to the city and you're boarding the airship. And as you're boarding, you see a Janasi, a fire Janasi, and his one arm is fire. Instead of instead of having you know like you see pirates with a pirate hook, his he has an arm of flame, and his hair is a little bit super red and it kind of seems to almost be moving like fire. And because he's basically fire. He's a fire Janasi, and so he greets you and he says, oh, "I'm Captain Ember. Welcome to my ship." So you're the hired guards for this trick. Um, yes. Yeah. That's right. We're the hired guards, so you're not on the dominus. Alright. Do your job, or we'll take it out of your hide afterwards. Okay. Or, now. or else I will throw you off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> now, there were... Alright. So I'm gonna actually have to tell you guards not to kill something this time. Yes, kill something. What? It's hatching season for the eagles, and we're uh, we've got a couple shipments of things that they might uh, like, and we'll try and, and steal to take to their, their hatchlings. Uh -oh. Fish is one of them, but so we need you to not kill them, but still scare them away and not let them get away with any uh, not cargo. Kill them? Not do what? Why not kill them? What about animals? Because they're they're good creatures. They do help the ecosystem and and one of our patrons who helps fund us is fanatical about them and so we're not allowed to kill them. Otherwise we'll lose our funding. So if you do that, you're never flying on any of the airships from uh from us again. <sighs> Better be one darn good accident. Okay, so just scare them up. So he actually, so he says, and you can use those, and he points to what look like three wooden clubs with a bunch of uh, like rags and blankets tied around them. He said, you can try and beat them away with those. That shouldn't hurt them too much. It should scare them away though. Okay. Is that the only thing we're allowed to use? On the eagles? I mean, if you have something that's you know not gonna hurt them, it'll scare them away. You have something like that? Yeah, you can use that. Yeah, I think you got a spell for that, that we're dying to use. Oh, please don't hurt the eagles. No, yeah, it's just a spell that scares them away. Alright. So, so you begin the airship, it takes off, the, the fire ring starts burning extra bright, right? As it's taking off, it almost goes from the, the dull, the dull orange, yellowish color, to as it's taking off, it really puts on a lot of power to get some altitude. It almost goes blue. You see it start shifting to like that hot blue. Blue fire? Nice. And then as it gets up to a good altitude, you're probably, you know, a few thousand, I, like a thousand feet above the ground or so. I ask him, do I, any monster look like clouds? Uh, Is there clouds? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe a I'm not, a, I'm not an encyclopedia of monsters. <laughs> Gosh, boy. <laughs> you see his arm, his hand burn a little brighter and almost make the shape of a claw. And he's like, watch your tongue. And so, as you're cruising along, he gives you a warning. He says, all right, we're entering eagle territory. I'm going to lord that, sure. So I mean, I can't take a nap. No, no nap. Bye. It's your choice. <laughs> okay, I'm not napping. Oh, the kitty cat is in the kitty here. We'll see. Okay, so is that, so where, where are you going to be standing, Dark? Sorry, I am. Um, right, right here in the middle. Okay. Dominus, where are you going to stand, Dark? Gonna... Oh. No, don't be with me. I want to move in. I'm with the treasure. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. With the there. treasure. Okay. Will you are you going to open the treasure? <laughs> okay. All of you roll perception checks. Are you excited, guys? Are you excited, guys? Yes.
But yet. Okay. Keeping a close eye out. Off in the far distance, you maybe see a couple of things in the air kind of seem to be circling, but they're, they're a little too far away to see what they are. I think I saw eagles. eagles. Or air nymphs or whatever they're called. Okay. Air nymphs? What else? Maybe tiny Nova. Diving. Nova, what was your? 17. Okay. All right. So you're, as you're standing guard, Ooh, an you eagle. hear flapping. Eagle! I think it's an eagle! You see an eagle about right here. What do you do? Long bow, long bow. It's coming towards you. Okay, okay. Hurry, but it's spelling. Okay, okay. I'm gonna call it tomorrow. you mark it. My voice is gonna boom really loud, and I can call it Splendid Splitter to Brighton uh change color for one minute. And I can cause harmless tremors in the ground. I can create an instastic sound that organizes from the point of your choice of my choice. And then uh, instantly cause it to on an online floor, one of the flight openers sounds like the ultimate appearance of your eyes for one minute. It's really scary. It might scare away. Okay, what are you doing? You get to pick one of those effects. But don't need it. You get to pick one of those. Oh, one of those. Which one? Why is she doing the first? Because that's where the eagle's coming from. Okay. We're going to be in sound to sound that we're going to be in the point of your choice. It's like it's just going to sound right in front of the bird. What is the sound? A gurgling sound. A gurgling? No, no, what does, what does, what does, what kind of monsters are really, really scary the sound that it makes? What would it scare? Dragon roar. Dragon roar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll intimidation. And with, I want to hear that roll. <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> with advantage. So you advantage. roll it twice. 15. Eight. Okay, so 15. So you you make a dragon roar right in front of it. You hear <laughs> right in front of the eagle. And it, it, it you see it just, just instantly start backpedaling. And it flies, it's probably over here now, flying away a bit for, for now. Okay? Haha, I hope Dad can use that. <laughs> and it's a cantrip, I can use it again for each eagle that we find. Or air and or dragon or whatever. So you see the eagle, and it just keeps, so in the next little while it keeps flying away. It seems to have been thoroughly scared. Maybe because those eagles are going to have this dragon in not Another, another, you know, five, ten minutes go by. You see Ember, he's still holding tight to the wheel, looking around. Keeping a close eye out, so you're still definitely in eagle territory, you can tell. All right, um, Dominus, what was your perception? Do you remember? 15. 15? Okay. Dominus sees an eagle coming up from behind. It's probably about this far away. What do you think? So you can bang your sword and shield together and yell at it. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm not guessing. <laughs> it's not my job to guess what you do. Guess that. Okay, don't tell me the mouthful. Come on. What are you doing? The eagle's gotten closer. The eagle's closer now, so it's probably you know, only like 20 feet away from the back. Just bang your shield and it's better. Can I do something or is it him? It's just, it's in. The ram got 17 too. It's a little closer now. Probably only like 10 feet away from the back of the Just wall. do it's it! It's probably back, it's like up here. Just do it, up there. just do it. Just okay, do, it. do it when it's like close enough to hit me or be like in the ear trying to. So what are you doing? You don't want to see what she Okay. You bang your shield and sword as it gets to like right around here, starting to fly around you. Roll your um, intimidation. Yeah, so Can 20 minutes of this. You're trying to intimidate, you're trying to scare it. 10. Nope, you only roll it once. Okay. It's not scared. So it tries to swoop past you, and it's going to try and grab this crate. Oops. 
Oh, he's trying to grab the crate. The job of being there, but that's okay. Okay, so you need to roll. What are you trying to do? You see it trying to grab the crate, what do you do? I grab the crate from it! Okay, so you try and grab the crate too. So, it... Okay, so roll uh, your strength. You're gonna try and grab onto it 20, and yank it back. 20, 20, 20. Uh -huh. Just keep that one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do this. Love it. So you're, you're able to grab the crate and you yank it down and it's flapping its wings trying to pull away and it, and it isn't able to do it. It is going to. It's gonna. While you're grabbing onto the crate and its claws are here in front of you, its beak is gonna come down and try and bite you. I have a metal head. <laughs> <laughs> And I think it actually that will hit you. The ah, but it was 15. Yeah, and it has plus four, so it makes 19. Wow, it's plus four. But it doesn't do anything to so me. So it does six damage to you. It's a razor sharp beak. It comes in and I have a metal bites, head. I know bites in between the gap of the of the neck and the head, oh. and it does six points of damage to you. Six points. Okay, so. 31 minus 6. 25? Uh huh. Good job. Alright, and let's see. It it tries to, now that it's bit you, it's trying to flap away again with it. Roll your strength check. Or what? Are you going to keep trying to hold on to the crate? Plunk it on head with your eagle. I'm about to say my shield plunk it. Plunk it. Plunk it. Plunk it. Plunk it. So you're going to try and hold on to the crate with one hand and hit it with your shield? All right, roll your d20 with a disadvantage. Roll it, roll it twice, and you're gonna take the lower number. Six. Six. So you, you, you let go with one hand, and it kind of pulls up, and you miss. Okay. So look, let's go ahead, and the eagle's pulling really hard. It's trying to get away with it. Okay, roll a d20 strength check again. Ten! What did you are You're now on your tiptoes. Like, ugh! Uh. <laughs> Can I run to help? Um, nope, at this point you could. It's, it's been long enough where you could, uh, you could come and assist. Okay, so... Can I? So I grab, I, I make sure I grab one of those bats. Push it behind up. See your fingers draining it. Okay, out. Oops, you're in the way. <laughs> so you grab one of the bats. You grab run one up. of the bats. Run up, grab one of the bats, and I try to scare him. Okay, roll your twenty-sided dice. Are you trying to hit him, or are you just swinging it around? Him? I'm swinging close enough to scare him. I'm okay, not you're not trying to hit. Okay, I'm not. roll the. Not this time, anyway. Yeah, roll the. Eight. Eight. Nope. Okay. Oops. Nope, he's not scared at all. He's, he's just like. Can I do it now? Can I do it now? Can I do it now? Can you probably Roll a perception. Might, roll a perception. I might See damage you, it a little. I might damage it a little. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can notice what's going on over there. So can I get half the ship? Uh, you could probably get halfway across the ship. Is he in the middle? Yep, right there. Okay, and I will use a spell. What spell? It's a, it's a novice, it's a cancer, but it's a yep, yep, yep. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to make it a dragon roar again, so it's actually going to be a dragon. Alright, roll your intimidation with advantage. So you roll it twice. How much is my advantage? You roll it twice, and you take the higher number. That's what advantage means. Ten. Ten? Right. He's scared. So again, Ray, uh, Nova yeah, no. runs over. Cast her spell and right in the ear of the of the eagle, you hear Bruh! right right into his right into his ear, and it and it staggers and lets go of the of the uh, of the crate and backs up to about here. What are you doing, Dominus? I don't know. Okay, Dominus stands there. He's just kind of like holding down the crate, not doing anything. What are you doing, Nova? Move the crate away. Oh, okay, can I move the crate away? You can. Away. Uh, wait, uh, okay, so, back. I'm gonna get right here, okay. and I said, myself, in the cantrip, I can use it again! Okay, are 
you doing? Hit me. You're doing the, the roar again? Mm-hmm. Okay, roll with your, roll your intimidation with regular. Don't do it twice. So what was that? <laughs> Black guy. That was a one, wasn't no. it? No. What was it? Yeah. It was not ten. It was not ten. Do it again. Do it again. No. Don't cheat. Don't cheat, little girl. Get this out. No, no, no. Was it Bianca? Was it a one? No. What was it two? No. What was it? I'm not telling you. Do it. Do okay, it again. you fail. Do it again. You don't. You don't scare. Funny. It was an eight. Okay. Well, guess what? The eagle rolled a two. So the eagle again keeps hearing this roaring dragon noise, and it. And you see it instead of hovering there, turns around and starts flying away. So what do you do? I go take a nap. <laughs> no, we're still around the laying here right now. I'm just going to save the middle of the ship. Okay, so nobody gets to the middle of the ship. This is cargo. This is cargo. Oh, I'm trying to save it. Okay. Everybody must stay with some cargo. I'm just going to let these cargo. Okay. We know they fly away. <laughs> Yeah. So, as you see that eagle fly away, Dominus, roll a perception check. Oh. Okay. Boom. Seven. Seven. Nope, you don't I'm play. Play. No, you hear ah, ah, the eagle coming in from behind, and he's about there. Another eagle? What are you doing? You really want uh, What do we have on? You hear Ember mumbling, oh, there's a lot of them today, they must be hungry. Oh, we can't I, give them anything. I right? say this. Can't just like give. Can them I just give one? Give what? Just give them one. Give them what? Just one. One what? I ask. Amber looks at you and says. I'm just saying. Are you gonna pay for it? How oh, expensive is it? Two gold. Okay. Isn't it nice? That's really, really, really overpriced for a fish. I say okay. But okay. I think. But I think. But they they feed don't it. want you. But they feed it, then so you think they can come back and get more. That's why he said two gold for a fish. He's gonna make you bleed for no. this. No, I throw it off the I throw it down. Okay, and so, they can so it Dominus I know, but it fries up the crate, reaches in and grabs a you know, good little sized fish. And waves it in front of the eagle and chucks it down towards the ground. <laughs> the eagle notices, okay, the eagle sees it. And it dives down, grabs the fish. You see it do like one of those peregrine falcon type things where it goes like perfect streamline, goes straight down, snatches it out of the air. You see some of the crew being like, yeah, that was a good catch, okay. <laughs> and then a little more time passes and you see, you see Ember's, you know, his, his hair and his hand glow a little dimmer. You see him relax his grip a little bit on the, on the steering wheel. Okay, okay. I think I think we're out of our territory now. We should we shouldn't we shouldn't expect any more. But uh, expecting more. But we but we are out of their out of their range now. Out of their territory. They shouldn't they shouldn't have cost us. You should be able to relax a little bit. Why a little bit? Because we're not in the eagle territory anymore. Can I take my nap now? So does that mean You are welcome to take a nap. Okay, so does take a nap. That means there's gonna Wake be... me up if you need any help. 